In 2022, President Museveni commissioned the Mpondo One Stop Center, a border post established, among other things, to facilitate trade between Uganda and the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. Despite the move, Ugandan traders have continued to face different obstacles and challenges in DRC, a matter Ugandan legislators have raised during an interface with MPs from the DRC National Assembly. The relationship that was observed out of the offices by the people is being betrayed by the absence of the government of Congo not occupying the spaces given to them by Uganda. So I would request our colleagues if they could take this up and we make sure that bottleneck that exists visibly can be covered up. The lawmakers also raised concern of the continued detention of Ugandans without trial. Your government has detained our people in your prisons and they're not releasing them. What can be done, uh, and what is within your knowledge, what can be done? What should we do as legislators, and what do you commit to do as legislators? Honorable colleagues, it's so surprising that prisoners from Uganda who, who are in Congo ha hardly have two meals or three meals in a week. And a few have died from there. Il y a certains qui sont décédés dans ces conditions-là. And died and buried from there. Et qui ont été enterrés au Congo. And you know what it means. The Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister, who is also a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, Mwadan Kunyunji, wondered why DRC continues to charge visa fees from Ugandans, yet Uganda scrapped the fees for the Congolese nationals coming to Uganda. I request that you as legislators, you pick it up and, and, and table it in, in, in DRC Parliament or Assembly so that we can have harmony. Let's have a, a, waiver, a, a reciprocal waiver of the visa regime, as Uganda did. In response, the head of the Congolese delegation, Lambert Mende Omalanga, promised to follow up the matter. He, however, dismissed claims that Ugandans were being arrested in Congo. La plupart des collègues qui m'accompagnent ici, majority of people who have accompanied me in my COVID don't agree with that point of view that only uh, Ugandans are arrested in Congo and they are not Congolese detained in Uganda. They are also, cause, they are also receiving complaints from their constituent and the people they represent that they are also Congolese who are detained in Uganda for petty crime and minor crime and who are not also being treated fairly. Uh, it's just those type of issues we just have to sit and to find solution in order to resolve them peacefully. He acknowledged challenges faced by fishermen from Uganda and DRC on Lake Albert. Je suis souvent informé des problèmes que rencontre. I'm well aware of the problem that the fishermen from Congo are facing in Uganda and the ones of the one that Ugandans are facing in Congo. My opinion is uh, the new beginning that we are want to give to the strategic relationship we want to install among our two countries, we should work toward a plan to allow fishermen who will be caught in the side of Congo, Ugandans will be caught in the side of Congo, to be reconducted in the side of Uganda without being arrested, and Congolese will be caught in the side of Uganda to be reconducted on the side of Congo without any intercation. Mende lauded Uganda for its support to the Congolese government in pacifying the eastern part of Congo through Operation Shuja. Notre conviction est que les forces néfastes. Our conviction is uh, the ADF forces have to be completely eliminated. On our part, we shall continue doing whatever is possible to make sure that we stabilize that part of the DRC and make sure, as the head of the delegation says, that we eradicate that group once and for all. All stakeholders were asked to play their role to ensure sustainable peace in DRC and the entire region. Much as the armed forces will be doing their part, the masses have to be mobilized heavily to support the peace process. Because once you have more collaborators in the civilian population or the general population, the war will still continue because they will be facilitators. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.